Primal Generation actually had a site of scientific interest in Hurtwood, I was instantly so chuffed and so intrigued, um, desperately, desperately wanted to go have a look. When Kia approached us about running the sustainability training down in our camp in Pertwood, we leapt at the opportunity really. For us it was a chance to explore different kinds of sustainability and also very much um, build relationships and through building relationships opening the ground for creativity and new ideas to come. What is sustainability? Well, the good news is that a sustainable world already exists all around us and has done for billions of years. I guess our challenge is to work out our place in the world, both individually and as a corporation. It's about living a full, happy and healthy life, a life of meaning. And that transfers very well uh, to the business because that's exactly what the business wants for everybody. We have a little catchphrase that you can't manage what you can't measure. Well, you can't manage sustainability if you don't understand how to measure it. And you can't measure something if you don't understand where it comes from. So the first day was very much about where the materials come from, where the tools come from. It's a Neolithic landscape, so you can see the markings of people who lived 8,000 years ago and how they must have lived and tried to imagine that. I think in terms of taking stuff back to site, um, maybe a bit more understanding and awareness of the things that are around us, um, the bigger picture. Join the dots from the Big Bang, it, it's just huge, isn't it? I don't think we realise like we are a part of something bigger and we all are essentially one. And we worked with that story of the timeline as a narrative throughout the weekend, finding a very practical, hands-on way to open up a shared story amongst everybody and between all of us and the planet. Getting up in front of other people and, you know, there, there was a... Um, they didn't hold back about sharing about their experience. Obviously, well, it's starting here. Basically, the word is curiosity. A bit of creativity was needed as we're walking along the lane. We're looking for different materials. We've come across some flint. We've found ourselves some, some wood. We're thinking of our ideas of what we could make to help us. at considering different values and how relevant they were. And then we kind of went right forward into how is it now for us and what is our role as a species that can reflect on all of this and can make choices. And somewhere in the middle of all that we learnt about biodiversity and connectedness. These have been around for 60 million years. Right? It's been a long, long time. Now why is the honeybee different to the 20,000 other species of bee. The thing it's got in common is that only, all 20,000 species only eat from the plant, but this is very different. This species of bee is very different because it's done something even more magical, is that the honeybee takes the nectar back to the nest and converts that nectar from a complex sugar into a simple sugar and it turns it into honey. It's just the link between teamwork and the team epic that uh, bees have and how they construct the hive um, and how they produce the honey. I just think it's got a real link to um, teamwork within the construction industry and I think it's great. I think it's a very good idea to introduce bees into um, construction sites and um, a lot of Brian regulations and stuff now. Um, you get obviously points for doing things like that and it's part of the permanent structure as well. Coming here sort of opens your mind take it back like certain things about bug houses on top of buildings and all sorts of upcycling from the skips and stuff like that. One of the ideas was um, putting a bi biodiversity garden on top of the cabins, growing that garden 
and handing that over to the client by putting that temporary biodiversity garden onto the permanent site. Sustainability isn't just about compliance. The impact that we have with the buildings and things that we build are, well, quite literally defining tomorrow's environments, which is the embodiment of care. A profound level of care and sense of responsibility. And that's really nice to see, that feeling, OK, we're part of an industry that is making a big footprint on the planet, is having a difference. And there was a sense that it was possible the construction industry could become an army for good. And this was the next generation fired up by that. I was like, well, we're on the side of the right guys. <laughs> The time we had this morning when uh, we was quiet um, was really good and it uh, really drew on how much noise is normally in our environment. I think that probably all, all companies should have a, a short spell of silence in the morning before they start work. Today when we've gone and looked over that land, that walk, like you just think, wow, there's so much more to appreciate of the world that's here naturally rather than the things that are being given to us. It'll be good to go back to the company and say, well, yeah, I think you really should run this. It's, you know, and take some of it back because it's helping the company as well to develop, so. Pertwood was an excellent, excellent forum for getting that message across um, and for reinforcing in our younger generation that as a company, we do take environmental awareness and sustainability importantly. If everyone in the business could align with those statements and those principles and that narrative, then I've no doubt that we will get there and we'll create the future that we want. And that's a sustainable and responsible future for everyone. There's a lot of questions unanswered, of course, but who knows what only time will tell.